So next we are going to see about number names. Okay. So what are number names? First of all, the number names is so what we call this number is one. Right. So we are going to write in the form of words. So we are going to write in the form of words. So that we call it as number names. Whenever we write the numbers in the words, we call that as number names. Okay. So let's see some examples. First number is one. All right. So how do you write in words? O N E one. Right. Okay. Then this one is two. So T W O. Then this is three. T H R E E. Then four. F O U R. Fine. So um, this three you would have known. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So I think uh, this numbers you will know. So you finish it up. Okay. So you should finish it up. Fine. So and I think move to eleven. So we should write it as E L E V E N. Eleven. Okay. To one. T W E L V E. Then thirteen. T H I R T E E N. Thirteen. Okay. And last is fourteen. F O U R T E E. Yeah. Okay. Done. So this is how we should write number names. Fine. So let's see more number names like this. So this one is fifteen. Okay. This one is fifteen. This one is sixteen. Fine. So this is seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Fine. So I think this alone you could have known. This is thirty. So this is thirty. So you guys are going to do right seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Fine. So just write it down on your notebook. What is the wordings of this numbers? Okay. Fine. So this number is thirty-five. So we have three-five. So thirty-five. We're going to write it as thirty. Five, five, okay, fine. This is forty. Okay, so what we call this number is eighty-two, right? We we normally pronounce it as eighty-two. So how we are going to write this? E I G H T Y eighty-two. Okay, then, okay. So what is this number? This is the uh, Are you then greater than hundred? Yes. So, how do we know name this number? Yes, hundred and one. Correct. Hundred and one. All right. This is hundred and twenty-five. Hundred and twenty. Five, correct. Am I right, right? Yes. Okay. So what this number is? Two hundred and fifty. Four hundred. Fine. So you could fill this two numbers, right? Yes. Yes. Fine. Okay. So you guys are going to fill five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Write in words. Okay. Write this number first of all, and uh, on this side you write the names, okay? And also you're going to write seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, then two fifty, four hundred, two hundred and fifty, four hundred, okay? Fine, okay, okay, fine. So let's move to the next number names, which is an higher level number names. Oh, if you are studying third, till this number name is enough. Till you, okay. So till you is enough. Fine. So if you are studying fourth, fifth, or sixth, you can go for higher level like Indian system, international system. 
fine buddies okay buddies yeah like let's move so we have seen the place value in indian system international system all right if you have not seen the place value video please go to that video and uh, just learn what is place value what are the indian system international system we have teached a book okay so if you are thorough with that you can be very easy in this number means in indian system okay so in indian system we are going to first of all i move to another slide just a minute okay now we have seen in the indian system that it is started with ones then thousand then lakhs then crores yes we have seen this right so that's what we are going to use here so the last number will be ones then tens then hundred fine ones tens hundred then this number is thousand this one is ten thousand okay so this one is lakh this is ten lakh fine you are telling me just just last number is ones and then next number is tens the next number is hundred then thousand ten thousand lakhs ten lakhs fine So, what is this number? It's in the lakh position. It is in the lakh position. So they are going to write it as twenty-three lakh. Fine. You are able to understand, right? So these two numbers are in a lakh position. These two numbers are in thousand position. These three are in the first number is a hundred. These two are tens and ones. Fine. So. This two are is a lakh, so we are going to make it as twenty three lakhs. Okay, twenty three lakhs seventy two thousand. Because these two numbers are in a thousand position. Okay, these two numbers are in a thousand, so we are going to write it as seventy. Okay, done. Okay, this is done. This is done. Fine. Then three is in a position of hundred. So they are going to write it as three hundred. They are going to write it as three hundred. Okay, three hundred. Four and two are in tens and ones position. So we are going to write it as forty-two. We are going to write it as forty. Two, okay. Forty two, fine. You understand? Okay. So first two numbers are in position of lakh. Next two numbers are in position of thousand. Next three numbers are under thousand, sorry, tens and ones. So lakh position will be twenty-three lakhs, thousand will be seventy-two thousand, and three is in position of hundred. So three hundred forty-two. Okay. Done. Let's move on to the next question. Four, two, three, five, zero, seven, eight. So four and two in the position of lakhs. Three and five in the position of thousand. Zero is in the position of hundred. Seven is ones. Sorry, seven is tens. Eight is in the position of lakhs. Right? Okay. So let's write it. Four, two, which means forty-two. How do we find this? Forty two. So fourteen. Write with me, guys. Okay. So you be very understand. We need write with me. And if you have any doubt, you can ask me. Okay. Forty two lakhs. Forty two lakhs. Then three and five in the position of thousand. So thirty five thousand. Thirty five thousand. Twenty five thousand. 
Phil, do you have any push to work? I need help. Phil, we doesn't need to write it. Okay, if there is zero, we don't need to write anything. Okay, so we don't need to write anything. So, last number is seven and eight. So, we're going to write it as seventy-eight. Seventy-eight. Fine. Okay. So, if there is a zero in any of the question, don't even write that. Okay. Don't even take only the number J. Fine. So write the next number. Okay. Done. Next is ninety-one is in the question of black. So ninety. Ninth lakh, ninety-one lakhs, fifty-one is the question of thousand. So fifty-nine thousand. Okay, fifty-nine thousand. Then one is the question of hundred. Right? So we have finished this note. One is the question of hundred. So One hundred zero is there, so we don't need to come and write tens position. So what we can write is three. That's it. Only three. One hundred and three. Okay. One hundred and three. Fine. Because there are no number in this position in tens position. If there is a number in tens position. We we'll write something like uh, twenty. Sorry, uh, thirty-three, thirty, thirty-three or uh, twenty-three, thirteen or anything. Okay, any number is here. We can write it down. But there is no number, so we we'll write only three. Okay, fine. You have to understand. Okay, so we will make two sums, and we will be very clear with it. Okay. Okay. So here we have only nine. One way, nine. So what we are going to write is nine. And which portion is this? Lack. So nine lack. Five. We are not going to write anything because there is no two numbers. Here we have ninety-one, forty-two, twenty-three. But we are there. One way, nine. So we are going to write only nine lack. Okay, done. Then yeah. sixty-six. Thousand because this word I'm going to show up. Thousand, thousand, thousand. So we're going to write it as sixty-six thousand. We're going to write it as sixty-six thousand. Okay. Then seven. Seven is in the question of hundred. So seven hundred. Okay. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. Is there any new number in there? No. So we're going to leave it as it is. Okay. If there is a number, we should write the new number. If there is no number, then we're going to write one big one. Big one number. Then it's there. Okay. So seven. We're going to write that seven hundred because this is the place of hundred. Okay. So here we have zero. So we need to leave it as it is. Fine. Okay. So we finished the both sides. So let's see on to the fifth one. Fifth one is zero five. So zero is the position of ten. Ten lakh. Five is the position of max. Right. So what we are going to write? We are going to write money. Five. We are going to write five. Then five will be here. Lakhs. Right. Five. Lakh. Right. Okay. Because there is no number in here. If there is something like one, two, or three, we can write it as one. Fifteen or twenty-five or twenty-three, something like that. Okay. If there is zero, there is no number. We should write over. We should no write any number name for this zero. Okay. There is no number name for zero. Fine. There is no number name for zero. No number name. Okay. 
Bring to the right to the zero. Okay. Second right, find that. Eight five. Eight five is eighty five. Okay. So, can you write all the numbers now? Yes, eighty-five thousand four hundred thirty-six. Fine. Can you complete it? Yes, complete it. If that's complete, I'm done. Done. See me the number in in the books. Okay. Yes. You got. One of correct answers. Let me write here. Eighteen five thousand four hundred. Go for the place of hundred. Four hundred thirty-six. Four hundred thirty-six. Okay. Then, so now we are able to understand all the Indian case common number names. Yes. So we will follow with this. Just you need to understand that don't ever 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 include zero. Okay. Don't include zero. If there is zero in any of the position, leave it as it is. Okay. Leave it as it is. Don't enter zero. That's the one thing that you are going to remind your mind when you are writing number net for Indian system and also for international system. Okay, fine. Okay. So 